and welcome for the no. second time. Uh, thanks, guys. Sorry about that. All good. Okay, you were telling us about uh, the moment Eric Reveno secured the ball and gave it to your dad, Marty, and uh, we wanted to know what you felt about that. Gosh, it was just a really classy act. I mean, we, we had, their team had just lost, you know, at home, and to be able to see beyond all of it um, is, is a pretty cool deal. And, um, you know, just big love on his part. Uh, Tyler, so Jerem is probably going to ask you to uh, uh, for us to have that ball so you can put it on the set, <laughs> replace this one. Say no. Uh, yes, please say no. Please say no. <laughs> Tell him I said no. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. Jerem's been asking about all sorts of other stuff. Like, can he get a shoe or a sock or, you know, a Wristband. jersey or something. Listen, you keep what you want, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we don't we, we don't want we don't want to take anything away from that you want to keep. You were plus twenty nine as a team in the second half. I heard the halftime locker room was well animated. What happened in there to change things for you guys coming out of halftime? Um, coach was pretty fired up. I mean, there was <laughs> he he did not like what what happened in the first half and. But, I mean, it got us going. It, everyone was, you know, re resolved to to fix it the second half, and we figured it out. And um, I think it, it all starts for us on the defensive end, getting stops and rebounds, um, just finding a way to get on those 50-50 balls. And uh, we got out in transition, and uh, it was it made for a fun game and a, a fun comeback. You've now oh, – so go ahead, Brian. You've now okay. won five in a row, Tyler. What kind of confidence do you have now moving towards Gonzaga that you've kind of found this this swagger that you haven't had for much of the season? <laughs> I know. No, I think we're peaking at the right time. Um, everyone's playing well right now. And uh, I think we, we found what makes us good. And, and when we rebound the ball, uh, we beat teams. And so... Um, that's kind of our focus right now, and we're headed into a big game, really talented team. Um, but everyone's confident, and everyone, everyone's hungry for that next win. And so uh, let's go see what happens. Tyler, I saw a, a tweet from Jimmer Fredette uh, just congratulating you on breaking the record. Um, have you had a chance to, to talk to Jimmer about that? Uh, I, I haven't talked to him yet. Um, you know, I've seen the tweet and everything, but... Uh, I'm sure he'll reach out at some point. He's pretty busy, too, with everything he's doing right now. When you talk to him, are you going to rub it in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. And, uh, Knowing Jimmer's, a, Jimmer's a good friend, and so yeah, maybe a little bit. That way, yeah, that's, yeah okay. see, that's why you can do it, because you guys are good friends. There can be some friendly mm -hmm. banter. Uh, you haven't played... Gonzaga in two months. How is your team different than you were all the way back on December 27th? Yeah, we, we've made huge strides in, in many different areas, and I feel like our, you know, every everyone on our team is um, giving contributions, and so, uh, and I and I think we're better on the defensive end. Um, that that's what's kind of fueling this this uh, you know five game win streak, and so. We got to just continue to build on, on what we're doing and um, and stay hungry. What was the best part about your night last night? Oh uh, well, just first that that we won the game. I think it would have been hard if we would have, I would have broke the record and we would have lost, you know. But um, just to to win and and be there with my family and all my teammates and. Uh, all those BYU fans, it, it was a pretty special night. And, um, you know, I, I won't forget something like that. So looking forward to Gonzaga, uh, what do you think that you guys have to do to, to come away with the W? Um, well, we got to we gotta have a presence inside. Uh, they, they got some really tough big guys and um, but they, they got guards that can really shoot it on the perimeter. And so uh, it starts it starts on defense. It starts with getting um, clean stops and clean rebounds so that we can get out and transition. And, um, but we got to just continue to share the ball and, and play the way that we're playing. Uh, everyone's playing with a lot of confidence. And, um, you know, we're, we're hungry to, to keep winning. What's the best part about playing in the kennel? 
<laughs> oh gosh, uh, just probably how loud and crazy it is. I mean, their fans are literally just right there next <laughs> to you, and they're they're yelling all sorts of stuff. I mean, it, it it's kind of like playing up with the spectrum at Utah State. I mean, the fans have all sorts of signs, and they're yelling all sorts. Of, they know all sorts of the stuff about your personal life, and, but it. <laughs> It'll it'll be fun. Tyler, we wish you congratulations again and good luck against Gonzaga. Will you just do me one favor, just one time, I want you to say, I'm the man. Uh, <laughs> I'm the man. Yes! yes! You the yes! man. You, you are the man, Tyler. Congratulations, uh, my friend. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you tomorrow in uh, Spokane.